Okay, so I want to start off this tutorial by giving credit to Hans Skellner first and foremost because they've basically created this Voronoi sketch a generator script that you'll be able to download. Um, they do have instructions over here before you download it. Uh, there's a help document and you'll see I've basically provided a, a link in the description to this to this uh, script uh, but there is a help document here that gives you you'll see like this general usage instructions additional information but I thought I'll just show some support uh, for Hans Kalner and just put together a quick uh, video tutorial showing you how to use the script alright so let's get started okay guys so today we're gonna do a really quick tutorial for Fusion 360 um, it's actually a plugin or an add-in that I found uh, available for Fusion 360 and it's called Voronoi Sketch Generator uh, so if you don't know what Voronoi is, just go ahead and Google it. It's uh, basically a form of tessellation or something like that. Uh, but I've seen these type of patterns used with architectural designs and I've always wondered how to go about creating this. Now obviously you can create these patterns using the sketch function, but it would take really, really long to get all of those sketches completed. So they've created this generator for you to use and uh, once you install it, it'll be available under the Voronoi sketch generator. And if you read the description of this video, you'll see that I've, uh, I've basically supplied a link to this generator that all of you guys can download and use. It's free uh, for Fusion 360, so go ahead and download it and give it a try. So anyway, um, this is how you use Voronoi. Uh, Okay, so we're basically going to click on the Voronoi Sketch Generator and it's going to bring up this this window and in this window you'll see we have different parameters that we can adjust here. So we've got edge style, uh, which we've got curved and straight. Now I particularly really like the, the straight function because it gives me nice sharp edges in the sketch that's generated and then curved obviously giving you nice curved edges. And then uh, the number of cells is basically the number of different uh, Voronoi patterns that are going to be created. So in this case we're going to we're going to be creating 16 and then obviously we've got we can adjust the patterns width and height and then over here this thing that says percentage to scale cells uh, you'll see for example okay let's just create this and like I said it's a generator so we just click on OK it generates the sketch for us uh, and you saw that scale percentage was on 80 so basically that just determines the overall scale the space in between these patterns that are created so if I go back in there and I put that on let's say 100% and I click OK. Let's just hide the first sketch. You'll see now that the overall space in between these Voronoi patterns are obviously, you know, it's a lot more compact. So you guys can play around with that to create your own unique patterns. Right, so I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to create another Voronoi sketch. Uh, this time I'm going to make it straight and I'll leave it on 16, pattern width 15, 15, and we'll leave the scaling on 80. The reason I'm leaving that on 80 is so that I've got enough spacing between each sketch and I'm going to show you exactly why I'm doing that but before we get there okay so what what can we exactly do with this like I said this has generated a sketch so if we select this we can basically extrude this and create geometry out of it you'll see there we've created a foreign noir pattern all right um, but another way because I've seen particular foreign uh, patterns that are curved so if we actually want to complete something like that I'll show you how to do that quickly. So I'm going to leave this sketch here. I'm going to create a center diameter circle. All right, center diameter circle on the bottom plane. And I'm just going to draw out a circle. All right. Okay, then I'm going to head into patch, uh, my patch workspace, and I'm going to extrude this upwards, this edge. Make sure it's a new body. I'm going to apply some thickness to it, so I'll give it one millimeter thickness. Click on OK. Right, so we've got our shape over here. Now I'm just going to adjust this strategically. So uh, I'm going to press the shortcut M for move. I'm probably going to have to rescale this. Uh, and you'll see what I'm basically doing is I'm leaving some spacing all around here so that uh, basically we're going to wrap this particular Voronoi pattern around this uh, sphere that we've, I mean this uh, cylinder that we've created. So I just need to adjust the overall placement a little bit better. So let me just select this top edge, go to press pull. Uh, let's just see quickly. This is a quick example. Okay, so our sketch is basically within that cylinder. So if I want to curve the sketch around the cylinder, 
it's pretty easy to do. I'm going to select my sketch. Let me just head back into the model workspace here quickly. Right click, I'll go to extrude. Now instead of a new body, we're going to be basically be using intersect. Right, so once the shape intersects with our cylinder, it'll basically be curved around our cylinder and you'll see that in a moment. So I'm just going to drag back. You can see the operation taking place over there. Um, now this is exactly what I was going for, right? I'll just click on operation, okay? Uh, I, I still wanted, you know, some space in here on the side so that, you know, my sketch is contained within that, that cylinder. Uh, and then I can go back here on these edges and I can fill it these edges just to make it a, look a little bit better. Like I say, you guys can go ahead and play around with this. Uh, right, there we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'll just hide the other sketch, uh, the other body because there's two bodies here. And yeah, that's how you would curve your Voronoi sketches using a another uh, sketch body. So that's that's one way to use Voronoi. Or you could just extrude the sketch and play around with it from there. So go ahead, guys. Like I said, the plugin is free. Voronoi Sketch Generator. I've linked it in the description. Go ahead, download it, play around with it. If you like these particular patterns, it really makes this entire process a lot easier for you to complete. So go, go and have fun, try it out, and get creative. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.